Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. They've just added a new punch card for us today for the game Outriders, which was recently released. And this is going to be good through April 12th, and it's going to be for 250 Microsoft Rewards points. And we need to activate the punch card, so make sure you click first to activate it. And then the second part is we need to earn an achievement within the game. So this game has been added to Game Pass, so you should be able to download it as long as you are a Game Pass subscriber. And we'll go ahead and get that started up and unlock the first achievement in the game. Now I will warn you, this will take probably about 20 minutes to do, and there's lots of loading screens, so I apologize for that. I'm going to kind of gloss over some of those. First thing you want to do is click on Customize Character once you get started. You can randomize if you want to, and then click Create Character and Save Character. So I just went with all of the, the defaults there with a little randomization thrown in, but uh, you can feel free to customize if you want to. And then we'll choose Start New Game to get started in the prologue. And some of the cutscenes within this game you can skip. All of the skipping is done just using the B button. So you can do that to speed this up just a little bit so you don't have to watch all the cutscenes. But feel free to enjoy them and learn more about the game if you wish. So this first cutscene here, we can't actually skip this. It just takes a minute to kind of settle us into our character. And we can get started just after that. All right, so the first thing they want us to get used to in the game, of course, is just the movement. Pretty simple and standard. Just move around with your left stick. And the objective markers are the stars, basically. So you can follow that if you ever need to know where to go. So we'll just follow along with Jack here, and he'll take us to the camp. Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should have even gotten it. So press B to mantle over that tree. So you'll use that a couple of times within the prologue. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real outriders with it, there would be a bunch of mercenaries down here in that place. So we'll use it again here to mantle or climb up onto that second ledge and just continue following along with Jack. I got kind of distracted by that plant there. I guess it's the plant making the noises? I don't know, who knows? We're on a wild, wild new adventure, so who knows what kind of plants and animals we're going to see up ahead. So if you're ever not sure exactly where to go, you can press up on the D-pad and you'll get a little white objective path that you can follow along to see where you need to head. So we're just heading up to this flag here where we need to place a flag, so we'll hold down the X button to capture this area and set up the camp. And you can skip the cutscene there to save a little bit of time. And some of the dialogue, I think maybe 100% of the dialogue that is coming up, you can just click through. All right, people. So you can just we press B repeatedly and Cut sort of page through the different Scarf sentences head. that are being Set said. I want so it says look around the camp here. So we're just going to kind of walk up. around the, the, the perimeter of this area Roman. and kind of see what's going on for a minute. So we can find those damn probes. Outrider? A word. Okay, so now Jack wants to talk to us, so we'll head back over to him and hold down X to talk to him. And like I said, you can just press B repeatedly to skip through all of the dialogue here. And you'll press A on that first option. In some of the dialogue options, you have some choices, and you'll always want to hit the one that has the star next to it to do the, the next objective in the conversation. So now we need to talk to Jakob, I believe is his name. He's up on the hill, so follow the objective marker. This truck will back up and get out of your way so that you can get up to him, and we're going to learn how to use weapons within the game. So hold X to talk to him, and then we'll see the dialogue option here. We need to go to the one at the top that has the star next to it, and then press A, Time to test my and you can skip through the rest of it. So now we're going to move up behind these containers and cover behind them by pressing A. 
And do pay attention here because you will have some battling coming up a little bit later on that you'll have to do. All right, hold the left trigger and then right trigger to shoot. So left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot, X to reload. And of course you're using your right stick to, to move the, the aiming around. You can take some shots at the tank if you want to. I figured why not? It's all just holograms anyway, right? Take some shots at the tank. And we're just trying to complete the test here, so just keep working on shooting all of the red figures that you see in the distance. Like I said, they're all just holograms, so they're not actually going to hurt you at this point in the game. So we'll hold down the Y button now to pull out our sidearm weapons. And we'll have another volley of holograms to shoot against. I obviously need a little bit of help in uh, aiming in this. There's no auto-aim going on, so I needed a little bit of work, but I did all right. There doesn't seem to be any sort of timer on screen or anything like that, so I think I think you will have no problem getting through this. Just be patient and get it done. All right, we've completed all the objectives, and we've got just a few more to take out to complete the weapons test. And your character does a pretty good job of getting back behind cover if you're not holding down the left trigger. So you'll want to do that if you ever need to reload. You know, just let go of the left trigger, press X to reload, and then you can hop back out again and start shooting again. Alright, so we've completed the test, so we can press A to hop out of cover, and then we need to talk to Shira, who is down here, back in the camp. So head back down into the camp and find her, and press X to talk to her. And we can skip through her dialogue, pressing the B button again. Oh, I'm just. Yeah. So. Devin. And we'll choose the top dialogue option that has the star next to it, and press A. All right, so we're finished talking to Shira, and now we'll need to go out into the wild just a little bit and look for a probe that's off in the distance. So you can see the objective marker on your mini-map at the upper left corner of the screen. Again, if you're having trouble finding the right direction to go, you can press up on the D-pad and it'll draw that little white line out in front of you to show you where you need to go. So we get to see some wildlife. We'll have to fight one of these a little bit later on. Not at this moment, luckily. I didn't really feel ready to fight one of those at, the, at this moment, so I was a little bit worried about that. Yeah, we will, we will later on. Save that for later. We're just looking for the probe right now. So I pressed up on the D-pad here, and you can see the white line showing me towards this hill and the objective marker. We'll press B again to mantle up onto those things, and you can cover behind, behind these ledges if you want to. All right, so we'll keep heading up the hill and get to the probe, and then we'll press X to interact with it. You can hold down the X button to interact with it. So unfortunately, you can't skip over the dialogue right here, so this just kind of plays out for a minute or so. I'm going to skip over a bit of it here in the video, but you can't skip it in the game. All right, so after the, all of that dialogue is finished, we need to head back to the camp. So you can press up on the D-pad to find your way back to the camp. You can also sprint now by clicking in the left stick and you'll be able to get there quite a bit faster. All right, so when we make it back to the camp, the next section will automatically start. ECA HQ, we've encountered a potential biological hazard. So now we're locating the second probe, and this is where we are going to have to actually fight one of those beasts that we saw just a little while ago. So get ready for that. He'll jump out at you in just a minute. Getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black guy... 
So here we go. We're gonna learn to dodge as well quickly here. And the controls for that will appear on screen. So you're gonna press B and then hold in a direction to roll out of the way. So use that throughout this battle. And then left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot, X to reload if you need to. If it starts getting close to you, hit B and then roll over to the side again. But the beast should go down after about three or four volleys of shots. And he didn't attack me enough to actually kill me. I don't think he even took off like a quarter of my health. So just keep using that roll. We're going to head towards this objective marker and hold down X to climb up to the next probe. And you can skip the cutscenes there using the B button. All right, at this point we need to start sprinting. So click your left stick, start sprinting through this area, and you'll see these red circles appear on the ground where lightning strikes are about to happen. So try to stay out of those if you can. You may have to run through them just a little bit, but you should be able to live through this. Just keep sprinting and then mantle over things using the B button if they get in your way. So sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. I think I got shocked just once there close to the end, but not too bad. So as long as you're not walking, you should be okay. Sprinting's the way you want to get through there. And we're just skipping over some more cutscenes using B. All right, so we're gonna start using our cover skills here. Get behind something, press A to take cover. And this is just like in the exercise that we did earlier, except we weren't having grenades thrown at us earlier. So if you see a grenade coming at you, you might wanna back up out of there. Take cover again and take some shots. These enemies are also doing a much better job of taking cover themselves than the earlier enemies in the holographic simulation. All right, so we're going to head over here and interact with this case and open it up and grab a new inventory item. So you can press X to pick it up, and then it wants us to go into our inventory using the select button or the menu button. So we'll click that to open up our inventory, and then we're going to select that new gun that we just picked up. So you should see it at the upper left. It's kind of golden, red, and white colored. So click on that. And then you can hit B to get back into the game. We're just going to start working our way up the hill and taking out the enemies that are just on the top of the ridge. You may not be able to shoot them from down here, so you may have to actually go up to the hill to take them out. Pick up any spare ammo that you find along the way, just laying on the ground. This gun is a lot more uh, gruesome. The guys just explode. I don't know what this gun is doing to them. Yeah, they start popping like some watermelons. <laughs> so we'll just keep moving through, picking up some more ammo, taking cover when we need to. I think I actually got a little bit too close to these guys here. So I ended up backing up to one a little bit further cover spot because they started tossing grenades at me. And I think we've got one more volley of enemies after we finish with these guys. So if they're too far away, just move up to them and finish them off. I was able to take that guy out from a distance, but just move up if you need to. So I actually rushed past all of those guys and went to the finish area. You may want to actually fight them because the game does require you to actually take all of the enemies out. So I, I went up to this Maxwell guy at the end and took him out first and then I had to turn around and try to take out the enemies that were following me. So you might as well just take them out before you get to Maxwell. Might be a little bit easier that way, but if you end up doing the same path that I did, just watch your back. They'll keep 
putting pressure on you and moving up towards you. I think we've got one guy left, two guys left. Here we go. And that was it. So now we just need to go over to Maxwell and hold X to talk to him. And that pretty much will do it. You have a bunch of other cutscenes to skip through, but at that point you will get the Awoken to a New Nightmare achievement, and that will suffice. So now all we need to do is hop back out to the Microsoft Rewards app, and we should be able to see that we've gotten credit for earning an achievement in Outriders. So there we go, we've got it, and that's gonna do it for this bonus punch card guide. We're gonna have a guide coming out later today for the April monthly bonus card that's been released. So stay tuned for that one, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.